would you looky there. Ain't that a sight? Tends to make one feel kind of small and insignificant like, what with the vastness and grandeur of the universe and all. Yeah, tell him about the legend, Octagon. I was just getting to that presently, Boyd. Now, I don't know about y'all, but my brother Hromboid here and I have heard tell of a legend. Uh-huh. We heard it from this guy who heard it from his cousin who used to live next door to this other guy. Be that as it may, we have it from a very reliable source that the Galvin... Who is just about the smartest folks ever? Oh, heck, Hromboid, do you want to tell this story? Well, okay. Legend has it that one of the Galvan created a whole planet all by himself called Primus. Now, what runs low on juice from time to time on account of it's really some kind of giant machine or some such? Preposterous tale, if you ask me. Sure is pretty, though. Ooh, what are them there beam thingies? They is for pulling the moons of a planet into a new orbit, like so. And when the moons of Primus in particular is in just the right position, what you might call the sweet spot. Ooh, kick the dog and spit in the fire. Go on. The planet gets all charged up a fight again. It's quite the green energy initiative, actually. Now, every time the big planetary recharge happens on Primus, Supposedly, the Galvin set up a bunch of racetracks on worlds all over the known universe and NASA to celebrate with a galaxy-wide Grand Prix. Now, w hold on there. That, that don't sound like something the Galvan would do, Octagon. Who's telling this story? You or me? I thought I was. No. Now, where was I? Oh, legend has it that whenever this here Grand Prix is held, the Galvin only allow the best racers in the galaxy to participate in this most prestigious of occasions. It's a winner take all, knock down, drag out, high speed showdown, the likes of which one is unlikely to ever see again in one's lifetime. In go karts. So the legend goes. Ooh, that sure is a mighty fine story, Octagon. If only there was some way for you and I to partake in said improbable event. Honey, you should ask. Howdy! I'm Octagon Breedle, your commentator type person. This here's my brother, Ron Boyd. Call me Boyd. The event to which we were so wistfully referring before just happens to be about to take place right now. Well, don't that be all. Boyd and I'll be right here with you through the whole shebang. So sit back, kick off your gravity boots, and get ready for some galactic racing! Here we are at Blizzard Bridge, starting point for the beginner's luck circuit. This here is the ice planet Kilmus. Necrophrygians like Big Chill call this place home. Personally, I find its climatory landscape to be a mite inhospitable. Besides Kilmus, this circuit will also take us to the water world of Pisces and the garbage dump of the universe, Vulpin. Hey, remember when we was a-going to repo that ship on Vulpin, and I found that perfectly good pair of underwear just a-floating in the sludge? Boyd. I'm wearing them right now. Can you believe the things people throw away? Boyd, do you recall us conversating recently about your lack of focus and its tendency to distract from the task at hand? Ooh, look, shiny object. Here I go over here now. As I was saying, Blizzard Ridge is so named on account of this here ridge, where the wind and snow could send racers flying off into the chasm. And if and the folks make it past the blizzard, they'll drive forthwith into this here cave, where these so-called... I think you mean pointy ice thingies. Stalactites are precipitating every which away all over the road. 
It is surely gonna take some adroit driving skills to get past those bad boys. Three, two, one, go! He has, as you might say, overtaken the competition. Races named Octicon. More stuff blowing up real good. No, no, after you. It would appear someone new is in the lead. If you ain't the leader, the view never changes. Now, here's a picturesque you planet. Look at all them oceans, Octagon. I'd rather not, Boyd. I'm a suffering from a touch of the... You... Ketosis. Well, I don't know. Your breath don't smell no worse than usual. Say sickness, dang it. Just get us through this thing. Oh, oh, so the race can start. If and you say so. First, they's a racing through some turns that go up and down and around. Boy. And then their racers is gonna go over a bootsy jump and get way up yonder high where they can see them rolling waves a tossing and a turning. Wrong, boy. Then they's a gonna come a whipping around and whoosh right over another one of them a whoopsie daisy jumps. Boy. And then it's into the final turn where the water's just a flowing in them slidey boost that rock back and forth and back and forth. <laughs> Fine. If and that's the way y'all feels about my narrative type skills, Octagon, you just go and do it yourself next time. Three, two, one, go! Thank <laughs> you. 
When you think offensive, you gotta think free. I am out of here! What you might call pain. <laughs> That's gonna hurt, I expect. Them there piles of decaying detritus mean we find ourselves on the planet Volpin. This place is a dump for every type of nastiness imaginable and then some. Vulpamancers like wild mutt come from hereabouts. No accounting for taste. I find the smell to be somewhat distressing on one's nasal cavities. Oh, so that's what that is. <laughs> I know them beans we had for lunch ain't a-sitting well with you, so... Boy, that would fall under the category of what you might call too much information. Anyhow, Vulpin is also home to a little track we call Toxic Tunnels. Shortly after the start, there's a mighty tricky crisscross with jumps that make racers pass each other in midair. And they continue crisscrossing until they come back together after a big old clover leaf. When everybody's back on the same track again, they all jump into one of them sludge holding facilities. Jumping over sludge could make for some good old smash ups, ain't that right, Octagon? Indeed, Boyd, indeed. Now, after that, it's one more ginormous jump, and then smooth sailing. Until the next lap starts, anyway. You have anything to add, Boyd? Oh, uh, yeah. <clears throat> About them beans. Let's just start the race, Boyd. Three, two, one. Got us a new leader. Ow! was exceedingly nasty. I likes it! See ya! Kevin is ready to fire. His offensive armaments were provided by Regal Brothers and Poe Incorporated. When you think offensive, you gotta think free. Let me tell you something! Go ask for it! Rath's ultimate power can make his normally laid-back personality a tad overbearing. Ultimate X 
Echo Echo is using his ultimate power pack! Like there was any doubt I'd win. 